good day folks. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today this is probably a little brief video. We have five sugar maple that we've been growing for what? A month or two? Mm, pretty much all summer. And uh, we're ready to transplant them. We've had a heavy rain a couple of days ago and it's supposed to rain again tomorrow so the moisture should be good, and we're going to pick a few spots uh, around the woodlot. In this area, where we did some tree falling, and we have a number of red oak. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few little oak that are coming up in this section. We're going to pick a spot and put in uh, at least one uh, of the sugar maple in here, perhaps under some of these branches, if we can do that. So uh, we'll get started. So anybody that's been watching our channel for any length of time will know we have very, very few sugar maple. Uh, we have at least one seedling that's doing okay, a few others that might be, but they're out in the woods and we haven't visited them lately. Uh, so these ones were donated from one of our girls who uh, happens to have sugar maple on her lawn. So she uh, dug them up, I think late June or so, and we've hung on to them all summer, waiting to get a chance to plant them when it wasn't so hot and dry. Oh, you know what we forgot, Mr. Hickey? Tape. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's him, Ralphie. <laughs> so we normally try and put some brush around them to protect them from the white-tailed deer or death on seedlings around here. And the sugar maples uh, highly shade tolerant, so <laughs> they won't mind. It will get lots of sunlight here. Uh, but that won't be an issue, and uh, it should be able to do well for me. As long as a bunny doesn't come around and chew them off or something. Well, bunnies and mice can, can, <laughs> can also be problematic. Yeah, can. <laughs> anyway, fingers crossed. Yep. <laughs> so this is just along the road uh, where the white ash stand is. And I'm I know there's at least one sugar maple we planted in here, I think, just last year, but there were a couple a few years ago, and I don't know if they're still still with us or not. Sometime in the next few days, I'll try and remember and come out with the flagging tape and mark these guys. Before we forget where they are. That should give them a chance to get up. Yep. That's two, three more. So we're just on the way up the hill along the edge of the white ash stand, thought we'd stop. This is the sugar maple we planted last year, about this time, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. He Probably. Was, might have been in the spring. He's doing well. But yeah, he seems to be doing pretty good. He's and again, it's hard to see him in there because we've got him well protected with the brush, but that's a... Uh, and I'm lots sure. of raspberry plants yes. around him. Which kind of disguises him. So the deer haven't found them. So we're up in Lily's stomping ground where we saw her the other day and uh, did the video on the update for Michael's rough grouse friend. Don't know if she'll come out this time. So Michael wants to just get a path that he can 
get in so we can get a maple in underneath where all that old spruce is. <laughs> well, chances are <laughs> if Michael can get in there to get it planted, it's unlikely any deer is going to try and get in there and eat it. Should be well protected. <laughs> All right, that's three. So number four is going in here. There's a number of small oak coming up around this area. They'll have company from a sugar maple. And again, it's a spot with some already lots of brush and stuff around, so reasonably well protected. We're out in the yellow bird stand here, 40% uh, of the volume in this stand is yellow birch, which of course is a little more than what you'd like to see because that's pretty dominant and although there's no major threats to yellow birch at this point, uh, that could change tomorrow, <laughs> 10 years from now, whatever. So we're at the start of a little more diversity in here and we're also promoting some white pine, but uh, this is a stand we could stand to do a little more planting in over the years. Get a little more variety. Uh, thanks for watching folks uh, catch you on the next one uh, I think it's going to be a, a big felling project uh, the next stage on your bridge next stage on the bridge check alright <laughs> catch you next time guys stay safe